around the world, translated in multiple languages. This is both ancient and modern jurisprudence. The science that treats of law, which is called positive law, which means the opposite of that is negative law. Do you understand? And the, law, the term law would only be used with that which is negative, only to give you a reference point, but it is indeed itself not law. No different than if you call counterfeit money, it's almost like an oxymoron. You only say the word money to make a reference point, but counterfeit is not money. Do you understand? Gold and silver, coin is money. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So it is those subtleties that if you don't understand when you're dealing with anything legal in this system and you're not up on it, you're going to lose. You will sometimes be overridden even when you're right and you win. But what you can't afford is not to know these things. Because it's a guaranteed loss. See, because under a color of law, they give you the appearance that they've given you due process when you've already been denied it right to your face. In other words, they rob you through, how do you say, they make the robbery a comfortable experience of discomfort to justify themselves. So now let's go to what uh, colored people. And it's very important now, any, anybody got notes, please take notes because this is very important because one of the things that we want to do and we're doing with people in, um, in Harlem, in Roxbury, in um, Brooklyn, etc., is this is the year of the suits because we're going to start teaching you how to sue, how to structure suits how to initiate them. And it's difficult because there's so few people doing this work. But our people are going to need this because if they don't, they're going to be out of it. They're going to find themselves on the curve. Really? It's for real, for real. Color. By common usage in America, which means this term is common here. Understand that it's not common around the world. It's mainly common where, where Europeans have colonized people. It means this is a legal term used, say, maybe in South Africa in that part of like where Europeans have colonized, North America where they've colonized. This is where this, it has its root foundation. It means this, it has no political reality, technically, everywhere else in the world. Are we clear? All right. Color. By common usage in America, this term, see it says term? Not identity, it's a term. In such phrases as colored persons, quote unquote, the colored race, quote unquote, and the like, colored men and the like, the colored race, etc., is to designate Negroes or persons of the African race, including all persons of mixed blood descended from Negro ancestry. And then it gives you law cases. Collins versus Oklahoma State Hospital. And it gives you code so you can research it so you can see reference points in law. All right? Then it says, but where a state constitution provided for separate schools for the white and colored races, the term white race was held to be limited to the Caucasian race and the term colored races to embrace all other races. So this is an exclusivity where the Wigamore party set themselves aside above any other peoples. So when Asiatics think that uh, people from other territories like the islands, etc., you must understand that they're classified as colored people. In other words, there's only two political bodies on the planet. Either you're Christian European, you understand? Which is designated politically the white race, and all others are colored. Do you understand? Now, listen to this. It has been held, this is very important, it has been held that there is no, there is no legal technical signification to the phrase colored person. I'm going to repeat, it has been held that there is no legal 
technical signification to the phrase colored person, quote unquote, which the courts are bound to judicially know. Are we clear? So what do you think happens if you go into a court and you Negro, black, or color? You have absolutely no standing at all. Policemen, judges, lawyers, all of them know that, except you. See the problem? Huh? This is to give you insight into why Nova Drawley said, if you don't do anything else, declare your nationality. That's only to give you a foundation to begin to be free. That ain't making you free. That gives you a foundation to be capable of even making the argument. what's happening? Huh? So now I'm going to go through some of my own notes and place some facts on you to deal with this 14th Amendment fraud. I want you to also take in consideration the problems that the, that the United States Corporation is having with their suit against Arizona, state of Arizona. That's very important, state of. I didn't say Arizona State Republic. State of Arizona relative to their problems with immigration. Keep these things in mind. Please absorb what I'm telling you because you're gonna to have to think on these things because some things I won't be able to go over but I'm giving you very, very vital, important keys for you to analyze every time you get any instrument to go to court. Vitally important. Don't overlook what I'm telling you, all right? Now, you must understand these fundamental principles of truth. A license is a permission given by a sovereign or a ruler to do something that is essentially, in its nature, unlawful or illegal. Are you clear? Does everybody understand what I just said? All right, you got that? Now, these are from my notes from a class of um, 1987 that I get at, gave up my house for students at the round table. How many of you are familiar with the divine warning for the nations by the prophet over You are? Are you familiar with the section where he says that the 14th and 15th Amendment is not necessary for the salvation of my people and the citizens? Is anybody familiar with that coming from Duali in the 20s? You're not? Uh, that's why I want you to pay attention because i got to make sure that I build a foundation for you so you understand how to approach this. Because this is being enforced right now while I speak though it's not being said to you. You understand? Even with the immigration problem they have, this is what's being enforced. But it's also causing them problems now. You understand? It's sort of like a Pandora's box thing. In the divine warning to the nation is one, is one of three major dissertations in written and oral form given by Noble Raleigh since 1913, just before uh, uh, just before Woodrow Wilson was elected to the presidency, to the Moors of North America, in appropriate persona, in his proper person, to speak for these people who have been disinherited from their birthright, who think they're Negroes, West Indians, Latinos, and all these things, which all of which they're not, that come under the 14th Amendment construct of artificial persons in order for Europeans to hold bureaucratized servitude here in North America. It's a political tool, but unknown to the people who are subjected to it. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Now, then I'm going to read this now so to put this in context. Now the alleged, alleged, write that down, emphasize that, alleged, put lines under it so you can go understand what that word means. The alleged ratification of the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution 
is rightfully declared by the erudite of law to be void of law and not a part of the Republic's Constitution. Are we clear? Just put it in your own words.